Top five reasons fracking regulations are whack. We know the risks behind hydraulic fracturing are real, but rare and outweighed when compared to the potential economic benefits. Some state and local governments focus on start to finish regulations, like permitting, disclosure, and production requirements, beginning with site selection and continuing through well abatement. Other states and localities enforce outright bans. Both have major downsides. Number five. Government agencies do not directly bear the costs of regulations. Consequently, they often overestimate the costs and underestimate the benefits. Number four, regulatory agencies are susceptible to capture by special interests, both industry or environmental groups. This means that regulations can be implemented in ways that favor the special interests at the expense of the public good. Number three, regulations are complex and costly both for government agencies and the regulated fracturing companies. Consumers ultimately bear these costs. Number two, regulations limit entry into hydraulic fracturing development. New competitors have a difficult time entering the market, which increases profits for existing companies and increases the cost of energy to consumers. And the number one reason fracking regulations are whack. As long as the companies follow the regulations, they are shielded from liability for human and environmental costs. When fines are levied, they are paid to the government, not to the affected parties. Markets offer an attractive alternative to bureaucratic regulations by better aligning the benefits and costs of hydraulic fracturing. Functioning markets would also help hold producers more accountable for resources they use, like water, and for the costs they create, like pollution. For example, if water for hydraulic fracturing is priced too low, it will be wasted. However, if fracturing companies have to supply their own water or buy it in the marketplace from farmers, municipalities, or even government agencies at market prices, it will reflect water scarcity and encourage water conservation. Well drillers are already finding ways to reduce water use by recycling fracturing fluids or by using other fluids and gases, such as propane gel or compressed air to fracture the rock. Rather than regulate hydraulic fracturing, government should clarify water rights, which are necessary for any market, and reduce the cost of trading. Water use concerns at hydraulic fracturing can be addressed by water markets. But water markets don't necessarily deal with problems of water contamination or induced seismic activity. In part three, we'll cover property rights and how they can be used to hold producers accountable, minimize risky behavior, and encourage thoughtful risk assessment.